it's really Bruce Wagner. I mean, he's been a friend for years. Um, I read his first novel, Force Majeure, and um, I thought he was a brilliant writer. And he's written, I don't know, 10 novels, many of them, most of them, about Hollywood and certainly about L.A. And um, I just think he's a brilliant writer, and we've been trying to get together to do something for years. And um, Maps was a, is an original screenplay, but it's very much of a tone with his, uh, with his novels. In fact, I, I kind of had, a, I guess, a, a subliminal desire to not do a movie about movie making. You know, never mind Hollywood, because I'm not really a Hollywood filmmaker. But, um, but it's the force of Bruce's script, which is so compelling and so charismatic that I, I, I felt I had to do that script. The gravitational pull of Hollywood is incredible. You know, it's like a, it's like this incredibly dense planet with, you know, with crushing gravity, and the closer you get to it, the harder it is to escape from it. So I wouldn't, I, I didn't, I must say, I didn't think of L.A. as a character so much as an incredible, like a, you know, really intense rainforest or something in which, from which you can, you can barely escape. It suddenly became apparent that that is exactly the key to the movie is the, the pull of L.A., of Hollywood in particular, on these characters. It just, it, 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 it grabs them, it magnetizes them, it sucks them in, and they can't escape. Um, partly, they can't escape because it doesn't let them think they want to escape. And yet you can see in all the characters there's, in a way, a, a desperation and a desire to escape, uh, and they can't.